In this screencast, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get multiple virtual box based virtual machines going using Vagrant. So to start with, uh, install uh, the Vagrant packages. I'm using Ubuntu 12.04 LTS for this. 14.04 has been released, but I'm sticking to 12.04 until the first point release of 14.04. So I've already installed this 64-bit package over here. And then uh, I'd like to get a 12.04 12, uh, 12 image or virtual image going. So I go to vagrantbox.es and then I search over here for Ubuntu 12.04 and then I find this official Ubuntu 12.04 daily cloud image AMD64. I copy its URL and I create a new directory for this work. I will call it U1204. Let's call it VU1204. I go in there and I type vagrant in it and I paste the URL I just copied. Okay, so now it's created that vagrant file for me um, and this vagrant file defines this virtual machine. So let's see what that looks like. So over here you can see that it's already populated uh, uh, in the config.vm.box with uh, that address. And um, what I'm interested in here is especially the networking setup because by default this will get a private network but I'd really like to have this virtual a machine visible on my outside network so I can use it to, to deploy many independent web apps to virtual images on my servers. So I go down here and there I see here's the default or not the default but one of the possibilities is saying I would like uh, my machine to appear on the public network. Uh, what will happen here by default is that the machine will get a DHCP address assigned by your DHCP server. But in this case, uh, I have already reserved a number of static IPs that I would like uh, to assign to these boxes. Uh, with a bit of fiddling around, uh, I discovered that you have to do something like this. So in this case, uh, I'm going to make it bridge to my a wireless interface because that's how I'm going to access the machines just for this demonstration and then I assign my IP like this so that's on my internal network or my on my public network but it's a it's obviously a non-routable IP but it will be visible to the other machines on this network so I do that and then there's one other thing which is just a convenience is that I assign I assign a host name Let's just call this VU1204. Okay, so now I've edited my Vagrant file and now I can uh, bring up that box by typing a Vagrant up. So in my case, it's already downloaded the box at so the base image that it's uh, built from. In your case, it might take a bit longer the first time. And now it's going to use that box image. It will then go and uh, create a virtual box, virtual machine. It'll then bring up that virtual box and that'll be uh, available on my network. You can see that by default there uh, it's mapping port 2222 on my host machine, it's mapping to port 22 on the guest machine. Let's give it a few more seconds. There we go, so the box is up. I can always reach the box by going vagrant SSH. So there's my clean new Ubuntu 12.04 uh, running image using VirtualBox. I can see over here that uh, what it's done, it's got its normal F0 on an internal uh, network. And then it's gone and it's bridged its F0 it's bridged to my outside network and you'll see that it's also uh, been assigned the static IP that I defined. Okay, so let's go and just sudo. And because I'm going to install some, uh, go going to deploy to this machine, let me just put in my public key. There you go.
create a new terminal. So now, if I go SSH root, it's going to complain because uh, it will have this key uh, in my known hosts. Let's just see what happens. So I have to go to 141. And I mean, and that's a brand new machine that I've now SSH to uh, as root. Uh, this is clearly a visible outside IP, at least on my uh, private network. And I'll be able to install web apps on there. Uh, and if, I'm, if I use IPs that have been reserved on my normal open network, I'll also be able to host multiple machines very easily like this uh, using Vagrant files, uh, meaning I can keep web apps separately quite easily. So that's how you set up uh, uh, a Vagrant, with Vagrant set up a virtual box image. Vagrant also works for other uh, systems such as VMware. Thank you very much.